they just want to make content my skin is destroy and i seriously hate such people online i'm feeling so sad to say that i damaged one of my subscriber's skin and that i'm fooling all of you with my content i'm just trying to scam all of you by posting some products and some content that is not relevant and that I don't use. Yes, that's the allegation, that's the blame that got put on me. So what happened is one of my subscribers actually posted a comment on one of my videos. And the video I will post it somewhere here. It was a shots which uh, was about me trying out retinoin for 30 days. And in that I had multiple photos, one photo after every week or something like that. And I showed my real skin with the scarring and everything. And I did not say a word honestly because it was just a month. So this was the whole shots. And then she commented on my shots and I will read the shots to you. She wrote that please don't follow these influencers. Following them can lead to lifelong regret. Both me and my cousin started using Tretinoin after seeing such videos and we both damaged our skin so badly so we had to go to a dermat. She was so disappointed when she heard this. We damaged our skin barrier and even the dermat couldn't do anything. It's taking so long to heal and I get cystic acne again and again. These people don't care about you they just want to make content my skin is destroyed and i seriously hate such people online who are not concerned about the lives of others so firstly i'm actually really sorry that your skin has to deal so much and your skin barrier is damaged and everything but did i really make the shots for the sake of trend or because tetanoin was going so viral answer is simply no I just made it because I genuinely used Tretinoin for approximately two to three months and actually the one month that I showed pictures I actually used it it was not fake from my side and I'm not saying that everything you see on social media is real it's not but believe me on my side as a, I will never recommend you a product at least with an intention that it will damage you or your skin or whatever in any ways Honestly, believe me, that will that that will be the last possible thing that I want to do to you. So talking about my tretinoin journey, I actually have something to say with the cystic acne because I also experienced something. So starting off, I used tretinoin for two to three months. Like I think two, three months back, I stopped it after using two, three months and my skin was doing really good. Actually, it was so good. Tretinoin was suiting me. I did not see any purging, no acne, no peeling, nothing. And every morning I woke up, my face, my skin actually felt so good. Then I had to stop it because I was in India and I was like, oh, maybe I uh, leave my um, sun protection sometimes. So I should probably not use Tretinoin because I don't want to damage my skin further. Then when I actually came back to Austria, I decided that, oh, okay, now I want to be on Tretinoin again because I really, really like it. And it was the third day that I had a lot of like small acne, like very small sits, you can say. And I was so concerned. I never had them. And even on top of that, I still use Tretinoin one more day. And then it got a little more bad. And that's where I decided that it's not working out for me now. So I will tell you what I did. So before when I actually got those sits, I was actually using this Tretinoin right here. And the moisturizer that I was using was this one from CeraVe, from the Ceramides. And I was actually confused because this is something new that I've been trying out. So I was like, maybe it's the moisturizer and not the cream. But then what I did was I stopped using the Tretinoin and I was because it's it's a good percentage. It's like 0.025%. And I started using this CeraVe Retinol Resurfacing Serum because this probably has much lesser amount of retinol in it. And I was like, my skin is not prepared. It It, it is actually not prepared for the high um, concentration of Tretinoin. So I started using this I think the past four days and my skin has been doing better so what I do is I just in the night I wash my face 
then I use this and then I top it off with my CeraVe moisturizer. I stopped using this for now and I will continue it after I think one month of using this every day. And even when I start using the tretinoin, I will make sure that I'm not using it every day. I came here to tell you that it's normal. The purging is normal, peeling is normal. If you actually do your own research, you would know that it is really normal. And if you really damage your skin barrier, one more thing that I would recommend you is please do a really, really moisturizing routine in the morning. In the morning, uh, do like a, my routine is like niacinamide, a good moisturizer and really, really good sun protection. I think sun protection is really good when you're using tretinoin of any form, either it's low strength, high strength. You should really make yourself educated about tretinoin if you really want to start using tretinoin. It's a high strength that is a really active ingredient and you should only use it when you actually know how to use it and what are the side effects of it. Thank you for watching. Bye.